Life is hard for Myanmar's farmers, who are among the poorest in Asia. Not only are they working in a country prone to natural disasters, but they have to do it with ancient and badly made tools. International sanctions and isolation under the former military junta left manufacturers lacking skills and technology. Now one not-for-profit business is using 3D printing to try and make farmers' lives easier. We want to create something that farmers find delight in. Um, we want people to open the package and see that, oh, somebody's put some thought into my experience using this product. Um, and we hope that this is a way that we can uh, give dignity uh, or show dignity to our customers. The printer has been used to design parts for a sprinkler system and a solar pump. Creating plastic prototypes cuts out a time-consuming back and forth with manufacturers that can hugely ramp up costs. Once a design has been perfected, it's then sent to factories overseas for mass production. Before, it might take um, you know, weeks and sometimes months to, to sometimes you have to get a mold and um, you know, find the right uh, make plastic maker and, um, and just making the mold um, is very expensive. And so, but now with the 3D printer, um, these can be done very quickly and cheaply. In the fields, farmers are already seeing the benefits. Beetle leaf farmer Chaw Win says his new sprinkler system has halved the time he and his son spend watering their plants. And that's not all. We also reduced our costs by more than half. 3D printing may seem a world away from this tiny farm, but already it's showing that cutting-edge technology can lend a hand in unlikely places.